Hey, what's up? Today I got a beautiful melizano salata to show you. It is that Greek eggplant salad or dip or spread. Absolutely delicious. In fact, it's got a few ingredients and it is so good. You're going to be thinking like, holy crap, where has this been all my life? The longest part of this recipe is roasting the eggplants. I'm going to tell you how to do this right now. It is so super easy. There's nothing to this. You're going to take two eggplants just like that you're going to take a fork and just pierce the skins puncture the skins with your fork all around just enough to go through the skin you're not collecting a debt you don't want to stab the thing you're all you're doing is very simply uh, allowing the heat to penetrate inside the eggplant itself then you're going to baste them or brush them with a little bit of greek extra virgin olive oil and you're going to put them in a 400 degree oven or 200 degrees celsius oven for about an hour and every 15 minutes during that hour you're just going to turn them or flip them and after that they're going to be good to go and ready for your salad i've made these before i've allowed them to cool down a little bit so that helps out quite a bit nothing worse than like handling like hot food it's awful the next part of this recipe super easy you're going to use it in the form of putting everything in a food processor. And here's how that goes. I'm going to take one onion. I've quartered this already. I'm going to throw it in there. I'm going to take two cloves of minced garlic. I'm going to throw those in there as well. I'm going to take a small bunch of parsley. And a bunch is a bunch, people. Like there's nothing, there's no real weight or, or there's no real measure to this that goes in there you're going to take about a tablespoon of red wine vinegar and that's going to go in there just like that you're going to take a couple of tablespoons i like to go heavier on the paprika i enjoy it i'm using a smoked paprika you can use a spicy you can use a sweet whatever you like so that's going to go in there a couple of tablespoons just like that i'm going to add a little bit of salt uh, there's no feta in this, so I am going to add a little bit of salt. There's not, no feta or cheese to bring us that brininess. I'm going to add a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper. And anybody that knows me will know a little really means not that little. I love fresh cracked black pepper. The last thing. I usually use this olive oil, my own olive oil. This weird little bottle came back from Greece with me about a week ago. This is the fresh picked olive oil. This was pressed about nine days ago. So, I, oh, anyway. So for this, you're gonna need about half a cup is gonna go in this. And this is where you want the really, really good stuff. We're not cooking with this. We're not altering the flavor at all. All we're doing is adding a little viscosity and that that gorgeous flavor oh my gosh so I'm gonna get my mini me going and just let that go for like a couple minutes but not even a couple of minutes like a minute not even just enough to kind of get everything emulsified and unified and then we're on to our next step which is going to be peeling or coring out our eggplants awesome so now our herbs and our seasoning mixture is done we'll let that go i've got my eggplant here and all i'm going to do is just basically half it and start scooping them out and for this nothing easier than just maybe like a spoon let me grab just a spoon here and all righty and all i'm going to do is slowly just start scooping it out so all you're left with is the skin and get that going just like that and even if you get a little bit of skin in there nobody ever died from like eggplant skin so just move this here all right so now my eggplant is done it's scooped i'm just going to take a knife and just start really just chopping it up finally chopping it up into little bits and pieces perfect so now this is ready to go so 
This is so easy, my friends. What am I gonna do? Let me just clean off my hands for a second. Perfect. I'm gonna take my bowl. I'm gonna take my eggplant and I'm gonna put it in here. I love the smell of freshly roasted eggplant. Amazing, awesome. I'm gonna take my seasoning or my flavors here for my Melizano Salata and I'm just gonna pour it in there and I'm gonna take a little spatula and just start mixing it around. Oh my gosh, that's absolutely fantastic. So that's it for my Melizano Salata or my roasted eggplant salad dip spread. Call it whatever you like. I guarantee you this is gonna be kick-ass delicious. Now for presentation, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take a round bowl and a rectangular um, kind of platter or plate. I'm gonna place my bowl on one side. I'm gonna take my eggplant, my melizano salata here, my eggplant salad. I'm gonna place it in here. Now, you can garnish this with a little parsley. That will totally work. And here, I'll show you. Typically though, Greeks don't really garnish shit when it comes to like their food. If it's green and it's on your plate, it's part of the salad. So move this over here real carefully, garnish that. I'm gonna take some crackers. You can, you can use any old plain Jane crackers you got around and just throw them on the side there, just like that. Even if they're broken up like mine are, not a big deal at all. And here, my friends, you have my Greek melizano salata, my eggplant dip or spread. Very easy, very, uh, very simple to make with only a few ingredients. Now, what I would recommend is before actually digging into this puppy, put it in your fridge for about an hour or so, let it all kind of set up and kind of do its thing. And after that, you'll be ready to go. Oh, and by the way, one more little thing. I would drizzle this with just, just a tablespoon of olive oil, just to give it that little kiss, that little glisten on the top. It's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And then what you wanna do also is just slowly just garnish it with a little bit of paprika and get that going. And here, my friends, you have a winner for any party, get together, uh, anything at all. And it's low carb. It's, you know, that's how I maintain all this. But seriously, that's it for this episode. I thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check me out online at kensgreektable.com. And until next time, I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.